day I, I took him out. I took him in his little box that Davies had made for him. It had little holes for air and a handle. And I took him to a hillside where the flowers were blooming. And I, I put him in a little grave. And then, quick as you please, I covered it up. Do you mean you buried him? some of it in advance as well. What do you think of that idea, Mary? Mary? So what the hell are you? Will you accept my offer?
until you'll finally have peace. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. The body. I've got her body now. And that's all that matters. I've got to get to work. For once, I have all the time in the world. I don't have to rush like I normally do. We're alone. Here. It's the dead of night. And no one could possibly disturb us. Now, this one time, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to do everything I've always wanted to do. And if I don't find peace for eternity, then I'm going to find peace for a good long time. I wonder if this could be my, my masterpiece. I wonder if my whole life has been building up to this task, this I've ever seen in my life. It was, well, at first I didn't know what it was, but I came upon this awful thing lying by the side of the road. It was long, shapeless, sickly, dark brown colour. It had almost no form at all. It was like a giant slug or something. But what really attracted me, what really attracted my attention and terrified me, were its eyes, or what I thought were its eyes. Its body it had these two large, gaping, blood red hollows that stared out at me like a pair of eyes. A pair of eyes that were filled with horror and screamed in terror like no throat ever could. And yet they were eyes of flesh, eyes made of the absence of flesh. And they stared at me in horror. Beseeching me for help. My own fear and need stared back at me through those eyes. And I screamed and ran to my father. My grandfather went to investigate. He assured me, he assured me it was just the body of an old cow. That had died and been set upon by scavengers. The eyes, they were holes for animals that eat out of flesh. I wanted to create something strange, terrifying, ugly and beautiful, just like that, don't you see? I wanted to create something like this! It's my masterpiece! It's the most beautiful thing, the best thing I've ever done! It's truly exceptional! It's it's my masterpiece. I took life apart and put it back together in a way that was completely new. It speaks to the pain at the bottom of my life. The pain at the bottom of everyone's life. The pain at the bottom of the world. Mary, do you see the new and terrible thing I've made you into. You were a lovely girl, Mary, and now, now you're so ugly. But don't worry, in a very... <laughs> in a very strange way, you've never looked so beautiful. You've never looked so beautiful. I'm sorry, it had to be you, Mary. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I promised I wouldn't lie to you. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. It had to be done. It's strange. I thought you'd understand. You're a destroyer just like me. I could stand here and contemplate you and what I've made you into, but... It's getting late. I've really got to go. Besides, I didn't make you this 
but before myself. You know, I made you into this for us, for the entire world. You belong to them now. It's time I stepped aside. Someone like me can make all this happen. 